Hey, what's up guys? So today I wanna go ahead and show you a part two of my Hillmore bender review. This will be of the reverse bending attachment. Okay guys? So yeah, this is the case. Just in case you have not seen the Hillmore case. Metal latches. All right. This is your Hillmore Bender. Now, in my first video of this tool review with the Hillmore, I showed you guys how it, you know, how the normal setup goes with just, you know, where you put in your crossbar on there and your mandrels. And I used it and I bent 7 8 copper. Okay. So, in this video, what I want to focus on is just the reverse bending attachment, okay? So when I first bought this kit, I chose to buy the kit without the reverse bending attachment because I didn't think I needed it, okay? So these two did not come with the kit, all right? So then as I started using the tool more and more often, started noticing that there was a lot of bends that I could not do, okay? So I ended up buying these I bought these separately off of supplyhouse.com and honestly it was the best decision ever because so the kit, I got this kit for 165 and then these, when I bought these, they were on sale for like right at I think 60 bucks, okay? So I mean it was a pretty decent deal because the kit with, you know, this kit with the reverse bending attachments included you know, because the case is a little bigger also. And it, you know, allows them for, for these to fit somewhere over here on the side. So when you buy that all together, then it comes out to like 260 bucks, you know. And every now and then, the price will drop to like 230-ish. But still, you know, it's pricey. So I paid 165 for this, and then I paid like 60 bucks for these. So it came out to a decent price, all right. And the cool thing about this, you know, if you buy this first and then buy these, then it gives you the opportunity to be able to, uh, you know, you can cut them out, cut out little piece of plastics, and they fit right in your, you know, in your box. And it's no bigger than, it, it doesn't add any, you know, any width or anything to the box. Same footprint, everything. And it closes easily, okay? So if you did not buy these reverse bending attachments, just know they do fit in the case if you end up later on wanting to buy them, okay? So me, I just outlined them on here and I cut them with a knife, okay? And they fit perfectly, all right? No issues. So now that I've talked about that, I wanna go ahead and show you guys how to use these, okay? So it's really cool. So Hilmer does it where it's basically all just a, a snap-on feature, okay? So you see that? It snaps on. Okay, so it has a little, you know, pin indent right there. See that? So it just snaps on, simple. Same with the bottom piece here. You know, you see the little pin indent there. Snaps on, no issues. All right. Go ahead and put your your crossbar on here like that and then you position it in the way that you need to use it so we're going to do it on 7 8 copper and you grab your aluminum mandrel you know color coded all right so now we're set up now the only thing is it's a little bit on the loose side so if you bump something, this sometimes does come apart, but you just have to try and be a little bit careful. It's really cool that it snaps in real easy, but it, it sucks the fact that it also comes apart really easy. So you don't have anything, you know, holding it down. So see, it comes off quick. So it's good and bad, okay? So you decide whether or not, you know, you like it or dislike it, so. It's a love or hate relationship, basically. 
all right so i'm gonna go ahead and show you the reverse bending attachment in action okay and why you would need it okay guys so let's say you want to do a, a bend but you need to go down okay and the copper is obviously attached over here so you can't just move it and then you know bend it and then put it back no so your copper is attached so there's no way for you to be able to make that bend regularly because your bender will end up hitting it. okay so it will not allow you to make a complete bend the only way you would be able to basically make it go down is by cutting a piece off putting a 90 degree fitting on there and then soldering that together but nobody wants to be doing that you know what I mean? it's just a lot more extra work so what do you do you get a reverse bender okay that's just how it is uh the really cool feature about this that it snaps and everything you can actually just oh, hold on i messed that up you can actually just hold this piece on the bottom right here hold that and then pull on this up and then now you can easily put this wherever you need to put it okay and then this this piece here snaps back in easily okay guys so you unlock it and now we're gonna go ahead and bend it okay so let's get to it Almost at a 90 degree bend. There we go. And this one, what you want to do is you see a little green tab right here. You see this little green tab? You would just, sometimes you have to kind of press the lever, like if you're going to do another, continue to bend it so that it can free up, okay? So once that frees up, you just hold it down. Wiggle it up. And there you go. And then you can. Sometimes you have to take it a little bit apart for it to be able to come off. Okay. So. But there you go. Okay. So that's it. You know, it did a good bend. You notice slight ripples. I mean, honestly, you can't really tell too much unless you're like really looking at it. Okay, guys. All right, so it does a decent job with the reverse bending attachment, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how easy it is to put it back in the case. Okay. that up and like I said when you take this piece right here apart you want to hold this right here with your fingertips because if not this thing comes up and down I don't know why they did it like that but that's the way they chose to do it all right but not a big issue okay and you know it just comes all apart and you can just put it right back into your case. Yeah, so the snap-on feature, it's a benefit, you know, definitely for quick of use. But also if you're in a really tight spot and you end up bumping it, it can fall on you. So just be very cautious, okay, when you use it. And you should be fine. I've had this kit for a long time, so... I've had no issues because I'm always careful when I use it. So, all right, guys, um, the reverse bending attachment, you can find this on, like I said, I think, uh, supplyhouse.com. 
probably around 60 bucks or so. I will leave a link in my description so you can find them. Um, have a great day, guys, and I hope you liked the review.